Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. As you see at the end of the last part, we arrived at the Lost at Sea Station. What this place is, is, well, it's, it's a pretty interesting little challenge of sorts. You can get unlimited regal rings out of this place. This is the one that I was talking to you about, that, yeah, this is like the end-all, be-all place for getting loads and loads of rupees. These you can sell them to Linebeck and whatnot at a really rapid pace. So, but first, let's just do, do a little beacon puzzle here. I can kind of, I can knock, knock stuff out of the trees, maybe I can blow stuff off the ground, you know, the, the power of the whirlwind if I really wanted to and whatnot. But primarily, the, uh, the puzzles are uh, just, it's, they're mainly about getting treasure here, I would say, like outside and whatnot. And yeah, not really even getting any sorts of giblets from the stuff on the ground, that's okay. Uh, yeah, I gotta use the Song of Birds to get that bird to latch onto it. Or maybe I just wait until it dips down low enough that that would probably work too. Uh, but let's just keep looking around here for other stuff. Well, there's the other one. There is the other one. The uh, Song of Light is probably one of my favorites in the game, actually. It's, it's simple to play, you know, it's really easy to remember too. That's probably also why it's one of my favorites, but it's also got that nice, gentle progression from note to note, and it, you know, it just sounds really nice overall. That's kind of why it's one of my favorite songs in the game. Uh, anyway, let's see where the uh, crossover. So now, we play the Song of Discovery! Here we go. <laughs> Woo! Why was that slowing down there? I don't know. Maybe because the bird was in in view of that. <laughs> and we get a palace dish. You got a ton of those now. <laughs> That's okay with me though. Can I get this bird without having to call it? Uh, oh, oh, oh no, I had it, I had it! Oh, oh I gave up too easily. Oh. oh I should have just held on. Because I thought I was gonna have to play the song of birds because it was going up, but no, I like the last second as I was releasing it. It decided, no, no, it, I'm gonna latch on to the bird, that'll, that'll be just fine. Oh yeah, that's right, I, I also called down the bad birds. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> so yeah, I just need to wait for it to be able to take me up to the upper area. Do, 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 do. Oh man, oh man, oh man, this is not looking good. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh no, oh no, this is not looking, wait, wait. You're, you're, you're my friends, okay. I got, I just had bad flashbacks. Ah, oh, oh, okay, so the Kukos are just here to be my buddies. We're, we're okay. We're okay, guys. Whew, so there's another Song of Life place. <laughs> this one will lead us to the actual entrance to the main, uh, main treasure yielding place, I guess you could say. So, this is gonna point towards a wall that we can blow up. By the way, it really helps to have your bombs all uh, maxed out here, which I, I did long ago due to the quests that I've gotten. Oh, I could actually use that one. Well, well, I wasted a bomb. That should be okay, though. <laughs> Let's go in and check this place out. What you got to say there, my sleeping friend? Woo! I think I'm a... I'm close enough in range with it, so that, yeah, I tried to get close close enough to it, but yeah, okay, that's why I was kind of tapping there. Yawn, yawn, oh, nice snap. This temple is a replica of a legendary temple in a distant kingdom. Many treasures are hidden within, and to protect these treasures are many phantoms. If you wish to enter, you cannot use your sword or your bow. Do you wish to proceed? Good, good lord, no, that is just way, way too hard. No one could possibly defeat a dungeon without their sword and bow. That's just absolutely inconceivable. Hey, yeah, you can get some stuff back here. <laughs> okay, yes, I came here. I intend on defeating this dungeon. And every time you defeat it, you'll be able to get unlimited regal rings. Well, you get a regal ring every time you defeat it, but yeah. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. So, I am ready to proceed. Here we go. Oh man, so what? what is this a replica of exactly? Well, it's a replica-ish of the Temple of the Ocean King from The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Yup, we're back guys, we're back! 
<laughs> light all the torches. So yeah, we don't have the, the use of our bow. It's all crossed out. We cannot swing our sword or anything like that. So we just gotta use all of our resources and not have to worry about our hourglass running out or anything like that. So with the power of our bow as well as the sword lost, that also means we don't have the ability to stun any phantom and take over them as Zelda or anything like that. So we're just gonna kind of have to wing it and see how things roll thusly. Oh, I can't get through that. That, that, that could be a problem. Well, no, not really. <laughs> Just kind of go over to the safe area here. Uh, actually, you're gonna, you're gonna lose sight of me anyway, aren't you? Yeah, I guess you are. <laughs> so big whoop de do. Okay, so let's go ahead and light these torches now. That one should be good to go, and this one should also be good to go. Just go. Oh shoot! Really? Just nick that sidewall. Everything just got ruined. Ruined, I say. Uh, I think that's it for the first floor. Yeah, this dungeon goes by really quickly. There's only five floors to it, if I recall correctly, but I'm gonna go ahead and explore every crevice of this place if I can. Uh, just really quick here, just to show you all the stuff. I, I did basically go around this already, because I had the, the... I was running through here like a maniac, and you've seen this corner because of the... Um, because of the whole boomerang area, so yeah, we're good to go there. Not too much treasure on the first floor, now we got some fiery phantoms hanging out around here. But this time, we must put out all of the lights. Whoops, so this means... Oh, I was gonna say. So this means we've gotta switch to our whirlwind. And turn off the torches, turn off the lights. You might wanna draw a map. Uh, but in all honesty, I think you're gonna be able to feel your way around here just fine. You'll see why that is uh, pretty pretty quickly here. It's it's pretty pretty simple to navigate this place. See, you feel around the wall, and you're like, oh yeah, I know how to get back to that safe zone if I need to because we already started at the safe zone. So it's like, eh, big whoop if we if we don't get that. So yeah, so it's just kind of extinguish all the torches and feel around the walls and stuff like that. Try not to aggravate the phantoms or anything like that. I'm just trying to stay out of their sight if at all possible. So things are things are going pretty smoothly here. Yeah, I would say. No treasure to be found though <laughs> whatsoever though, so it's not not that big of a deal. Oh wow, that was it. <laughs> I thought there was like more torches, but yeah, that, that was a pretty simple layout, I must say. But yeah, if you if you don't know where I mean where you are, you just do the lines across your map, just where paths are and stuff like that. But that it's just too easy to even worry about that. I just mainly showed you how to draw on that other map, how to draw your path at the uh, Tower of Spirits, which took forever. <laughs> Looking back on that in hindsight, yeah, yeah, that that was. I shouldn't have done that in all honesty. <laughs> in each pair, one switch is correct, so we just gotta pull the right switches. And we've seen those fish switches um, via the... Can I sneak by you? Yes, I can! <laughs> uh, was that correct? I don't think it was. No, it was not. So I'm gonna pull the right one. So... Wait, was that? What did I do there? Uh... Okay, so was was it the right one? As I just want to mark this down for future rounds of coming through here for treasures and stuff like that. Hey guy, how's it going? <laughs> I'm not even scared of them because I can run away from them fast enough. Uh, let's try pulling this one. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah am I like am I doing the right thing here? Because which one? Oh shoot, that's right. Then they're warp phantoms too. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the thing we got to deal with here. Okay, that's we're good. <laughs> Okay, so I pulled both of them. Which one was the correct? I guess I guess the right one was the correct one here. Uh, again, because the other one triggered the phantom eye. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Ah, ah. Okay, that'll do. Just, they'll just appear over there. It'll be okay. Okay. Let's pull the right one again. I don't know if I'm doing the right one or not, because it seemed like I'm activating the... Uh, uh, I'm activating new phantom eyes. Hold on, I just want to... Mark an L on here before I run for my life. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. And I'll just cross. The Whoops! Wait, wait. I already had the right item out. Why did I even? Why did I even do that? I don't know. I'll poo, I'll poo on you. And I'm gonna do this. <laughs> oh, you like those apples? Can I get you like this? Nah, I guess I can't. Okay, you guys are just gonna end up reverting your position. There we go. Yeah. 
Okay, I'll avoid the Phantom Eye. This, oh shoot, that's actually... Uh, so yeah, it looks like I'm just... <laughs> I'm immediately pulling the wrong one first, it looks like. <laughs> because I'm making other Phantom Eyes appear. <laughs> So yeah, I guess it's left, right, right, right. So it's just that one, that one uh, L there. It's different than the others. All right. So there's still other stuff to clear out on this floor, though. So don't get too excited. We're not leaving here just yet. Um, yeah, there's a swingy ding area over there as well. Uh, yeah. How did you see me this time? But you. Oh wait, it was this one that seen me. Okay, that, that makes a little more sense. <laughs> I was gonna say, how did that one see me this time when I was so far ahead of him, but the other one didn't see me when I, I wasn't so far? <laughs> it's just ridiculous how far away it was. So yeah, I guess I cleared out everything nicely. All right. At least, wait, no, wait, maybe I didn't clear out everything. Anyway, Wrecker Phantom Floor. Uh, so we gotta destroy all the blocks this floor. Not too difficult with it, with their assistance, for obvious reasons. But bombs also help quite a bit as well, you know, so that you don't get knocked around like a wet noodle from them by making mistakes or anything like that. But yeah, the one the one spot that I'm not sure that I... Oh yeah, that's right. The one spot that I'm not sure that I searched was uh, over at the bottom left corner. So let me just run down there really quick. Just uh... Oh yeah, I don't have my sword, that's right. <laughs> that, that's fine, that's fine. So yeah, I'm just gonna go off. Okay, so there wasn't anything here after all. What a waste! A total waste! <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna run through this. Because they're they're occupied in that corner anyway. This one's gonna respawn much later on than it's gonna detect me. And there we go. Okay. So here's our hint. Smash all the rocks! Get your bombs out and get the smashing! Or, you know, just attract the, the wrecker phantoms like this. Just get over where you need them to be and get out of their way. <laughs> That works just as well. Hey, guy, over here! I want you to kind of... Well, actually, you know what? This one's going to take me forever. Anyway, yeah, I'll just, I'll just do that. Just drop a couple bombs over there. And just make sure they just destroy... They did nothing! They did nothing! <laughs> I didn't have them close to the blocks! Ridiculous! Ridiculous! Okay, those are clear. I'm not really caring if you're seeing me right now. Uh, okay, so I'll plop that there. Let them do a roundabout. And I guess that's uh, taken care of then. Anything in the corner there that I didn't? Okay, treasure chest, it's nice. I will accept this, wood hearts, and your gift of love. Um, let's kind of zoom through here. <laughs> Not too concerned, I just wanted to see that, that side there and see if there's anything that I missed down that path or anything like that. Clearly, I'm not intimidated by the Wrecker Phantoms whatsoever, because they are... They're just... They move too haphazardly to really be a threat. Well, okay, unless you... Unless you're just a derp-a-derp -derp like I was there. Because <laughs> I, I should have just let him bounce off the wall, which is the obvious solution, but... No, no, I decided to go through and try and be ultra-reckless. Oh, no, 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 no stupid PK cam. <laughs> okay, so I guess I can... Start by destroying those as well. Get stuff all set up here for the future because why not? Because it'll. I don't exactly have my sword out. Although I could just like drop two bombs and then whip at them with my whip, and then they'll they'll be like, oh, guess I'm just gonna automatically explode uh, because I'm I'm hitting them with the whip, and then I drop the other bomb with the other bomb. I was waiting for to explode is now exploded and then whip it again to speed things along as well that'll, that'll do just as well but yeah otherwise you'd have to do a whole lot of wrecker phantom giblets going on here because the wrecker phantoms you have to lead them along the uh, straight paths for them to do what you want them to do uh, because otherwise you're just gonna have them bounce around those little those little corridors yeah <laughs> or they'll get stuck like that too that's that's another factor yeah, let's just speed this along. There we go. <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> Dragon scale, nice. And um, I guess I will get those out again because <laughs> I'm I'm having a much quicker time taking care of the blocks with bombs than I am with anything else. Just leave that there because it'll keep that phantom out of my hair, let it explode its own volition, and then once the last blocks are taken care of, the last door opens. There we go. 
voila and as you've seen at the beginning of the temple of the ocean king i mean the lost at sea <laughs> temple is that there is a uh, whole bunch of bomb recovery um plants way way back at the very 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 entrance so yeah it makes things a whole lot easier so as for these blocks, if you don't have the bombs, you're gonna have to use the Wrecker Phantom, which is incredibly awkward to do. Open all the treasure chests! I can most certainly do that. No problem, in fact, that's primarily why I came down through here, was for the treasure! <laughs> so, I would say that's a little bit quicker way to do that, but let me try something else here. I'm gonna drop one there, plop one there, get my whip out, whip that, plop that over there, whip that. <laughs> Speed run tactics, yeah, like a pro. <laughs> All right, so now we got this treasure chest. Another path will be open. To, well, I thought another path would be open to us, but I guess not. I guess not. Well, you don't have to destroy all the blocks this time, so all is well. <laughs> okay, so what other thing do we need to do to open up other spiky areas? Is it's not like we have Zelda here to take over a phantom because we're we're locked out of our sword or we're locked out of our bow, and both those can be used to stun phantoms so we can get Zelda on them. But alas, alas, we are completely oh we are completely stuck. Oh, I guess I can like this. That's probably the solution. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Completely forgot that was there. Okay, so that's how we make progress. And I'll come back to that other one when we can do so once we open the other treasure chests, because that will be the... Actually, I think I need the whip for this. Oh, no, I don't need the whip. <laughs> it must be for another one that I need the whip. Bee larva. Okay, so what unlocks other stuff? What did I forget in this place? By the way, this is the last floor of the uh, Imitation Temple of the Ocean King, so... Yeah, this is the grand finale. Oh, this is what I need the whip for, okay. <laughs> Pearl necklace, so there's the other treasure chest. Which one is correct, which one is not? That must be the, the correct one. So if I pull the wrong one, I bet a phantom eye is gonna appear, right? Right? I just, I just have to, yeah. Just to see, because I pulled everything else on that other floor, I might as well screw up everything to the max, right? <laughs> Alright, there we go. So now, I think we're... Everyone's just gonna kinda... <laughs> coagulate over here. That's okay with me. By the way, you can... You can whip phantoms as well, but that's not the same as stunning them, because they're, they're weak against the arrows and the... Uh, and the powers of the uh, locomo sword, so... yeah. Just not a really... Oh, shoot. This is actually going to take longer. I shouldn't have done that, dang it. I regret my decision. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a matter of waiting for them to get back to where they were, and... They, they basically leave you helpless to the phantoms, is the whole idea of this temple, like when you first ended up at the Temple of the Ocean King. Uh, but now I can just let the phantom eye see me, I suppose, and just run down here. There we go. <laughs> Completed! Woo! And here is where your prize of a regal ring is. And every time you beat this place, you can get another regal ring. So feel free to get as many of these as you please. Heck yeah! <laughs> Woo! So this place is now completed. And I'm definitely going to be going back through here to get a bunch of regal rings. But yeah, you see, you can start this all over again if you'd like to. Get your, get your bombs refilled and everything over here. Do it as many times as you would like. Heck yeah, you can refill your hearts over here. So, actually, you know what? I think I didn't get enough to refill my bombs and stuff. Okay, there we go. I don't know why you're giving me arrows when my arrows are completely clogged up due to the rules of the dungeon, but details? <laughs> it's just, I guess it's just a full-on refill station in general. Alright. So now that this place is cleared out, and you know what I'm probably going to be doing off camera, I am going to go ahead and get the last rabbit, because... It's right down those tracks that I left, that I didn't show at the end of the last part. Like, remember I said that I was going to go around the backside of these tracks, going around this way? Well, now we're going to go take these, because there's still new tracks, and this is the grand finale of all the rabbits. Are you ready to get the final fluff ball? I have been ready since part one. <laughs> so let's go ahead and to loot our way over there just because I am super excited to get this bad boy wherever it may be. 
at the Lost at Sea area. Oh, is that barrel? That barrel is partially embedded in the land and it was still floating. <laughs> ah, randomly generated objects. Gotta love it. Okay, can I get you like the first try? Just so I don't have all that much uh, gray hair forming out of you. <laughs> Get it? Gray hair forming, you know, rabbits? Oh, forget it. Oh, forget it. I missed it. Let's go back to Lost at Sea Station and reset the rabbit location. Rematch! You're not gonna make your, le I mean, my last capture easy, are you? Whoops, I didn't mean to touch up there. Well, <laughs> should, should still have time to pull this off. Yeah! That's it! That's it! We did it! We did it! Yeah! 50 rabbits and a star to boot. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's go over to Rabbit Guy for our prize now, shall we? I think we should. Well, actually, before, and there's still a couple of little, little tracks here that I still haven't showed, so... Yeah, I might as well just show you these really quick, and we're, we're, we're pretty much done, aren't we? Yeah, we're pretty much done. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Rabbit finale time! Well, someone's been busy hunting bunnies. Let me reward your hard work at 10 rupees. I believe you get 5 rupees for every forest rabbit and 10 rupees for every other rabbit. Oh, look at that. You caught 10 adorable bunnies from the ocean. We get the ancient gold piece. Woo! Which could be something else for you. Wow, just wow. You've collected every rabbit out there. I'm speechless. You've more than earned it. So here it is, the neatest present ever! Behold! The Swordsman Scroll! Memories of veteran swordsmen flow through it. You can now send shockwaves with your sword, Link! Swing your sword to send a powerful shockwave surging out. Gosh, just look at all of those long-eared darlings. They're adorable! I have to tell you, I never imagined you'd catch so many for me. You've made me a very, very happy fellow. Look at this! Yeah, we got sword beams! We got sword beams, baby! We actually got an awesome prize for once for collecting the loads upon loads of collectibles throughout the world. And I do believe, like in all Zelda games, if you take a hit, you know, you're not at full health, you won't uh, be able to use your sword beam or anything like that, so... Alas, alas... Oh, if you, oh, if you switch screens here, you're gonna notice that... Uh, Here's our Swordsman Scroll 1. So there's actually a Swordsman Scroll 2 out there. Like, what? I thought I got everything. Nope. <laughs> there's still much more to get. Well, Pikachu, this time we got a good item from our long collection quests. So I don't need to vent my anger at you. Do it. What? I said do it. Seriously? So I never actually hurt you before, you enjoyed it. I'm actually a masochist, so I, I rather like that sort of thing. Huh. Alright then. Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, it hurts so good. It hurts so good. Oh, yeah. Keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, rip me. Rip me like cream! Oh.